Today, we will learn how to achieve this look using Sony Material in S-Log3. First, let's go to our project settings. In color management, our color input will be DaVinci YRGB. In timeline, DaVinci WG Intermediate. And in output, Rec 709 Gamma 2.4. Let's create our nodes. The first node will be named CST. Our second node will be our balance node. Then we create six nodes in parallel. These will be our secondary adjustments. Create another node and name it CST. The next node will be the LUT node since we will be using a film LUT again. Then we create four nodes in parallel. These will be secondary adjustments after the conversion. In our first node, we insert the color space transform effect. And the color input will be Sony S Gamut 3 Sin A. In Gamma, Sony S Log 3. In color output, DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate. In color output, DaVinci Intermediate. In our second color space transform, the color input will be DaVinci Wide Gamut. In Gamma Input, DaVinci Intermediate. In Color Output, Rec 709 and in Gamma, Cineon Film Log. Now in our Loot node, we'll place the Kodak 2383 LUT. This way, we already have our image converted to a Kodak film look. We love this LUT because it has a very special character and has been widely used in the film industry. Although our image is now correctly converted, it looks too bright. But now we'll fix that. We go to our Balance node, and with our Offset tool, we'll lower the brightness. Always checking our scopes. I'll lower a bit more in lift and gamma to have an image with good contrast. I'll increase the saturation a bit. Now with the temperature tool, I'll make the image a bit cooler. Also in gamma, we can adjust a bit towards the cooler side, almost nothing. Let's switch to our log tools. In shadows, we'll add a bit more blue to accentuate the shadows with a bit more color. And also lower the brightness a bit. We go to our post LUT secondary nodes. We go back to our main tools, and with gain, we'll add a bit of warmth to the image. Also with gamma. Looking for the skin tones to look good, but enhancing our color contrast. Now in our pre-LUT parallel nodes, we create a gradient mask. I'll add a bit of contrast. I'll lower a bit in gamma and add a bit of warmth with gain. We're aiming for that warm sunlight style. In our second parallel node, we place another gradient mask. And we'll recover the highlights of our image by lowering a bit in the highlight tool. 
there's a big difference. In our third parallel node, we'll make a skin selection using the qualifier tool. We visualize the mask, and we adjust until we have the best possible selection. To make our model's skin look better, we go to the Mid-Tone Detail tool and we'll soften it. We could do this with other effects, but doing it this way is very simple and quick. We adjust the tone very slightly with Gamma. Now we go to another of our parallel nodes and create a mask to make a vignette. I'll use gamma and gain to darken it a bit. In the next node, with a right click, we select Composite Mode and choose Soft Light. Now we completely remove the saturation and increase the light with Lift, Gamma, and Gain. We go to the Blur tool and apply a bit of blur. That's it. Now let's lower the opacity of this effect. We're looking for something subtle. Remember that the more subtle the effects, the more natural and higher quality images we'll get. With this effect, we achieve a contrast and a kind of glow very subtle, but it adds a lot to our look. Now let's go to one of our post LUT nodes. And in curves, we'll select our green tones. I'm aiming to give a more greenish tone to the trees. Now we'll go to the saturation curves, and I'll increase a bit in the greens, thus creating more color contrast. In the next node, I'll add a bit of overall saturation, just a bit. We go back to our first post loot node and emphasize the warm tones very slightly. In our last parallel node, we'll make the blacks deeper. Here we see where our image lives. We'll do this directly with curves, checking our scopes all the time. Finally, in our node number eight, we'll highlight our model's face a bit. We create a mask. And with gain, we'll lift the light. We do a quick track, and our image looks amazing. Depending on the material, we often need to reduce noise. 
In this case, we see some noise appearing in our image, so we'll create a node before our entire node structure. We go to the Motion Effects window, and in Frames, we select 2. In Type, choose Better. And in Luma and Chroma, we adjust more or less around 10. Here's where I see the noise becoming less prominent. This depends on each image. And that's it. A warm look with vibrant skin tones and good color contrast. If the video was helpful to you, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe. You really help us a lot to keep sharing and creating content. Keep coloring.